There are several different ways to create and share OneNote notebooks with others. But did you know that every time we create a team SharePoint site, a shared notebook is automatically generated? In this video, I'll show you how you can use these pre-built OneNote notebooks in Microsoft Teams to collaborate with your team members. But before we get into that, I want to share a quick anecdote that ties into the idea of using shared notebooks. If you're not interested in hearing my story and want to skip directly to the how, you can use a timestamp in the description below. So about 10 years ago, I joined a retail startup as a consultant. The majority of the employees were young, um, in their 20s, and a lot of these guys were Ivy League MBA uh, graduates. Needless to say, they were smart. In my first week, I hosted a project kickoff meeting with about 10 people. And me, coming in from more of a traditional business, I was used to, I guess, more of a traditional way of conducting a meeting. So I passed around a printed copy of the agenda that I prepared, along with a sign-in sheet so that I can keep a log of everyone present at the meeting. And I remember getting a couple of funny looks from people, and I noticed that they were sort of glancing at each other. And I was wondering what was going on and if I was doing something wrong. As I kicked off the meeting, one of the guys said, I'm starting a Google Doc, and then shared the link to the doc with everyone. And one of them projected their screen on the big monitor in the room. And as the meeting went on, people were collectively taking notes on this Google Doc. And I saw the different color cursors and their initials flash up on the screen like Christmas lights as they were adding and editing their notes. And at the end of the meeting, we had the whole meeting already recapped. Next actions captured, owners assigned, done. And this by far was the most impressive real life demonstration of an efficient meeting I've ever witnessed. So of course I try to adopt this and try to use it in other, again, maybe more traditional work settings, but I never got it to catch on. And I think there are two main reasons for this. One was the work culture and the other was technology. I think in more established businesses, they have legacy processes and established ways of working that makes change adoption really difficult. And second, many organizations use the Microsoft Office platform and up until recently, it really wasn't easy or straightforward for people outside of IT to do something like this where you can co-author documents. And I think this all has changed in the last couple of years and especially in the last year and a half, the pandemic served as a forcing function to help people adapt to the new ways of working and be more comfortable using digital tools to conduct meetings and to collaborate. And Microsoft, to their credit, really accelerated their innovation, especially with regards to Microsoft Teams, to make it easier for people to collaborate, whether it's co-authoring documents or sharing a notebook. So I think now is a good time to try to introduce this notion of shared note-taking system to our own teams for more efficient meetings and better collaboration in general. So without further ado, let me show you how we can set this up. Each team comes with a pre-built notebook which can be linked to the different Teams channels. For our example, let's use the Workstream 1 channel we have here on their Project A team site. Click on the plus sign to add a new tab, and from the App menu, select OneNote. If you don't see OneNote on the list, you can search for it up here. We see the list of all notebooks that I have access to, but you'll notice that the first notebook on this list is the one that was pre-built for this team and it's tagged as the default notebook. We'll select this notebook to display in the new tab, but if we wanted to, we can select any of these other notebooks instead. As we hover over these notebooks, we can see the path to where they're saved. Lastly, we can choose to create a new notebook to share with this team, but we're going to choose this default notebook. When we click on this triangle, it gives us the option to create a new section. If we have several channels within this team and want to better organize a notebook, we might want to create a separate section for each channel. We'll skip this for now as I'll show you a better way in a moment. Before saving and adding this notebook as a new tab, we have the option to post this as an announcement. We can leave this checked so that the team members are notified. Now you can see that the new tab has been created, which has taken on the name of the default notebook we selected. This tab will be visible to all members who belong to this channel. 
If we want to change the name of the notebook, we can right click on it and rename. Let's rename the tab Workstream 1. By the way, we're renaming the tab, not the notebook itself. So we have our blank notebook here. We can expand this window by hitting this double headed arrow. When we selected this notebook before, we had the option to add new sections. If you didn't do it then, we can do it here. We can hit this icon to expand the navigation panel and create new sections and pages. If you want to learn more about the OneNote notebook structure, I made a video about this so you can check that out here. If we're taking notes during a meeting, we can add the meeting details from the calendar. Go to the Insert tab and choose Meeting Details. If you're using this for the first time, you may need to log into your Microsoft 365 account. I'm using a work account, so I'll select this option. Then I can navigate to the appropriate date and select the correct meeting. We can see that the meeting details have been added, including the meeting name, the date and time, and the meeting attendees. Now all meeting attendees can collectively take notes here. Again, this is super helpful as a burden to take notes doesn't fall solely on the meeting facilitator or to whoever is a designated note taker. Since anyone can add to the notes, it allows the meeting discussion to flow uninterrupted. Now, when we're in the meeting, I recommend that everyone use this Teams interface or a web interface to take notes as the synchronization will happen real time. This is important since team members will be adding to and editing notes at the same time. But after the meeting, if you're the meeting facilitator and want to clean up the notes or make updates, it may be preferable to work in the OneNote desktop app instead. And if that's the case, we can hit this drop down and select Open in Desktop App. I have two notebooks here, but you can see that a third has been added. This will remain in my notebook and I can access it anytime without having to go through Teams. Just keep in mind that even when the sync is set to be automatic, it's been my experience that there's always a bit of a lag for the notes to fully sync, at least in the 2016 version of OneNote. Now, assuming there were some action items from the meeting and we want to follow up with the team, we can simply email the page from here to serve as a reminder. But if we want the team to provide update input directly into this notebook, we can copy the link to this page and send to our team via email or chat. The link will take them to the web version of OneNote where they'll be able to make edits. And needless to say, the team can always access the notebook from the Teams channel tab that we created. Since this notebook was created within Teams, anyone who is a member of this team will have access to this notebook. But we can also give access to people who are not members of this team site. Since I have my desktop app open, I'll show you how to do that from here first. Make sure the correct notebook is first selected, hit the arrow, Select Share This Notebook, then Share With People. Again, here it's showing us that this notebook is already being shared with the Project A team owners and team members. If you want to add people, simply type their name or their email address here and specify either an edit or view access. Now I'll show you how to do this from the web app. From Teams, select Open in Browser, Click on Share. By default, anyone in your organization with the link can access the notebook, but you can change this by clicking on it and selecting the other options. And whatever option we choose, we can add the names and email addresses of people we want to add. Select whether they can add or edit, then either copy the link to paste in email or chat, or you can choose Outlook to simply send from there. And that's it. That's how we can set up shared OneNote notebooks for better team collaboration. And I hope this video triggers some ideas on how you can use shared OneNote notebooks with your teams. Please like this video and subscribe for more contents like this. See you in the next video and bye for now.